the wheel box alignment continues. I basically have them squared up and bolted to the floor now. I've also put some uh, glue down to make sure that they do not move at all. Uh, it looks like my fenders, both the front and the rear, are going to be flared some uh, to accommodate the, uh, the drivetrain of the MR2. Uh, and again, I show some of my finished parts. All right, I put these little strings here on, on the uh, these weights to kind of go down and show that the inside, the front track is two and a half inches smaller on both sides. That's due to the width of the rear track of the MR2. It's about six inches completely, six inches wider, three inches per side. Probably around more like two and seven eighths inches per side uh, versus the VW's original rear end. So the fenders will have to be flared just a little bit to accommodate the wheels and tires. Um, again, the boxes are down. They're bolted. There's a bolt there. There's a bolt there. There's four bolts in each one. And again, the the glue that we smeared into the corners and then up underneath to kind of help everything to keep it level. The boxes have been leveled and bolted and squared. So both boxes are complete. The build is going to begin here pretty soon. I'm waiting on for some brake parts uh, from Toyota. But here is the all the new stuff. There's my rebuilt axles. There's the front control arms with bush, uh, the lower ball joints attached. There's the rear control arms with the lower ball, ball joints attached. There are the rear hubs with brand new bearings and bolts on those, brand new bearings and rotors. Uh, the brakes, uh, again, I'm waiting for parts to put the brake uh, calipers on. There's the rear two hubs in the back. These are the front two hubs. Uh, complete with brand new rotors and hardware. So it uh, looks like the fun stuff's going to start to begin here pretty soon. We got uh, got my wheels and tires put over here on the side. I'm going to start putting uh, the front together as soon as I get my brake parts and we're able to put the calipers on. I'll start uh, assembling all of the front pieces. And uh, when I get my motor and tranny back, which will be a couple of weeks, I'll assemble the uh, rear as well. And once I get that done. Uh, the assembly of the front and rear suspension. I will be able to put my platform, which is sitting over there right now, I'll be able to put my platform back in, uh, in position with the, the bolts that we had on the floor before. That in the front there. Got them there and there. And three in the back. These this, again, this platform will be bolted down in place, and then we'll be able to start building the frame around everything. But right now, uh, finally making a little progress. Be back here uh, real soon once I get my parts.